Good afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd do another video. Um, after I did the last video on doing the box joints, uh, I had some time to think about uh, the video I'd done and the procedure I'd used. And I came up with a couple of improvements. I think uh, one is a pretty good one. Well, both of them are pretty good ones. So uh, let me show you what I came up with here. I'll just redirect the camera. And I'm not sure how well you can see what I've got going there. Uh, okay, so what we have here is I, this part, the backer, I changed that. I took the base that I had uh, glued and screwed onto this piece of plywood. I took that completely off and now I just put a single screw through this into the fence that's already there. Um, and, it, and it stands up there just fine. Um, so I did that which increased the overall height or thickness of a board I could do by uh, an inch and a half. So I think I could safely do uh, six inches if I had uh, Oh, uh, two more inches of spacers. I could do six, seven inches if I had, uh, you know, uh, eight or ten more of these things of my, of my uh, uh, pieces of a uh, nice MDF. Uh, so that that's one improvement. It, it really simplifies the um, the jig. Plus, I made the ends instead of quarter or eighth inch plywood like I had before. It was kind of floppy. Uh, I made this out of half inch. Uh, which makes it a lot stiffer. It stays at a 90 degrees uh, to it much better. Uh, and so overall, it's just a simpler, easier jig to make uh, and uh, with, the, with the added advantage of being able to do uh, uh, higher, uh, or I'm sorry, taller boards. Now the second is it occurred to me that these boards are, are right at a quarter inch, just shy of a couple of thousands. And my blade is supposed to be 0.126. Well, an eighth inch is 0.125. So I figured I got an eighth inch blade here. So uh, using uh, the, uh, my little jointer, my little four, four inch jointer uh, that's attached to my table saw, uh, and a uh, Dewalt planer, I created this board that was the same thickness. Uh, I had some dados to do, so I had to, uh, I had to make a new shim because between now and the time I had done the previous dados, I had purchased another, uh, this is my bag of shims for my dado uh, tool. Uh, I had to make a new spacer uh, for my dado jig to, to fit my new blade. So all I did was run this board after I'd cut it on a table saw to a clo close to the right size or thickness. I ran this through this through the joiner until it was exactly this thickness. Okay, and so now I know because I already know that this is the same thickness as, as my blade. So now I know that this is the same thickness as my blade. So uh, what I'd hoped for was for smaller boxes, smaller boxes look better, in my opinion, with smaller box joints. Instead of quarter inch, like a two inch tall box looks better with eighth inch box joints than it does with quarter. All right, that's my opinion. And the bigger the box, the bigger the box joints, I think. Uh, so, uh, so that was part of my strategy with this, with this new setup. And so I created this and now you just gently adjust the saw up and down until it just rubs this, just rubs. Then you put your boards in just like, like you did before, push down and, and dado, uh, I'm, uh, do your box joint. So this is what I came up with. Uh, I think it, 
I think it came out fabulously. That's uh, eighth inch box joints. Uh, if that's going to the micro, I don't know. There we go, there's micro. Uh, welcome, I don't have the picture in the, okay. I don't know if the camera's picking that up exactly right. There we go, there's, that's not too bad. Uh, and uh, not too bad a looking joints, really. Um, they're tight, uh, they glue up nice. Uh, they could be ever, just a smidgen tighter, and I haven't thought about how to make, it, how to make that come out, uh, but uh, it works pretty good. Um, so the way it works is, is if you have two boards, which I don't have, I didn't prepare properly, but uh, if, you have, if you have two boards you want to put the dado on the end, one board goes on top. And the second board goes on top of this shim. And then you remove one quarter inch board at a time and just repeat this process all the way down uh, through the thickness of your board. And uh, everything comes out. Let me see if I can get a better deal. Uh, so one would go here, sitting on top of the white. You put this in and then you'd set the second board on top making sure they're both pushed over tight to the fence uh, so that you get accurate depth and then just run your saw remove this remove one of these put this back put this back well i probably got it backwards but uh, yeah, i did get it backwards and and you just continue on until uh, i just unplugged the damn microphone You just continue on until the whole board is cut. Um, I like it. Uh, it, 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 it. It certainly, in my opinion, for a small box, uh, that looks much better than the big uh, box joints, the quarter inch. Uh, and, it's, and it's very simple. Uh, this is simplified. This is simple. This is simple. So if you can round this stuff up, this quarter inch MDF, and use a full kerf blade it doesn't matter what size it is because they'll uh, in each size they have uh, uh, the the uh, thin kerf and the standard kerf which is uh, uh, nominally an eighth inch they make it 0.126 but I think it's probably actually 0.125 uh, anyway uh, that's that and uh, uh, it worked really nice I I, uh, I was quite surprised at at how well it worked on the on the eighth inch, um, and that's about all I've been up to uh, uh, this last week or two. So uh, I hope this video was of uh, some value, some interest uh, to my subscribers and other viewers. Uh, and thanks for watching. And yep, radio alarm sauce make me smile. There's doesn't seem to be an end to the versatility of the things. Thanks for watching.